بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر وی ور ڈسکسنگ دا جنرل اناٹمی آف دی نروس سسٹم اینڈ آئی ٹولڈ یو دیٹ دا نروس سسٹم از بینگ میڈ اپ آف نیورون اینڈ دا نیورو گلائل سیل نیورو گلائل سیلز آر جسٹ سپورٹنگ دے ہیو نو فنکشن آف نیورانس while the neuron is the actual functional and structural unit of the brain the basic cell is the neuron from which the brain is being made of somewhat about 130 billion neurons are making the brain and each neuron is one cell which consists of Number one, the body with a nucleus. The body of the neuron with the nucleus, it is the cell body, are also called as soma. And this cell body, or neuron body, then gives origin to many branches. And these cell bodies, when get together in the brain and in the spinal cord, these neuron cell bodies get together in the brain and the spinal cord, they make the gray matter because it is grayish in color, it make the different nuclei it make the different centers which I will explain are the cortex of the brain these are actually being made by the cell bodies then originating from the neuron from the cell body there are processes and one type of process which is usually one and long and having few collateral branches and such type of the process is called as exon these are long and this is single and these are having branches but less and these are collateral branches and these are the processes from the cells which take information or orders from the cell to the other organs or to the other neurons. And then the other type of these processes which originate from the neurons, these are short, maybe multi and frequently branching and these branching short processes of the neuron the neuron these are being called as dendrites the dendrites are the small short processes frequently branching and these actually receive the stimuli or the information from the organs of the body or from other neurons while the exons are the outgoing and the dendrites actually incoming or in bringing the stimuli from other parts of the body and dendrites are short and exons are long now these exons which originate from these exons which originate from the cell bodies from many cells then these exons get together these exons going out from the the neurons and then they get together and they form the nerves 
is for example you can see this median nerve ulnar nerve or you can see the oculo motor nerve cranial nerves all these nerves are nothing but these are actually the axons fibers which are coming from the neuron body and these axons form the nerves and also forms the inside the nervous system it forms tracts tracts are also the bundle of axons or the bundle of fibers coming from the neurons but these tracts run in the central nervous system from one part to another for example from the cerebral cortex to the spinal cord or from the spinal cord ascending upward to the brain these are these bundles of fibers these are being called as axons or the tracts or nerves okay now what happens that the neurons some of the neurons are having function of sensory sensory function some are having motor some of the neurons are sympathetic autonomic nervous system function some of the neurons are having the parasympathetic function in this way the neurons somewhat 130 billion above 130 billion in the central nervous system allah has being allotted them different functions but the neurons with a similar functions usually group together they group together to form one group of neurons all of these are having a similar function and such group of neurons with a similar function is being called as nucleus for example nucleus of the oculomotor nerve or nucleus of the cranial nerves and then the neurons or cell bodies with a similar function if they unite with one another outside the central nervous system in the peripheral nervous system and then they form a group of cells with a similar function then these over there are being called as ganglion while in the central nervous system these are being called as nucleus or center for example in the cerebral cortex a group of cells is having a function related to the speech we call it that speech broca's area or speech broca's center or one group of cell is having the motor function then we call it is the motor center or sensory sensory then we call it as sensory center okay now how the connection or communication between the different neurons is being made note the point pathways are being established between the neurons from one neuron to another neuron at a point which is being called as synapse what is synapse these are sites these are sites which are present at the cell body or the site which is present at the cell processes and these sites present at the cell body or at the cell processes what they do they are being used for transmission of the impulse to be handed over to another neuron in such a way note the point that the transmission of impulse in the nervous system is not by continuity as for example in electric wire if you connect the two electric wire they are continuous then the current would be able to to pass into another wire but in the nervous system it is not like that for example this is one neuron this is another neuron one process come from over here and one process come from over here 
what happens they do not touch one another remains away from one another but they these processes are sites it secretes a chemical a chemical secretion or chemical fluid which are being called as neurotransmitters these neurotransmitters they allow or they help in the conduction of the impulse from this neuron to this neuron through this fluid and neuroconstruction what has changed look the great allah has done what has changed that the information which is going be being transmitted from this neuron to this neuron it is not by continuity but by through the help of this fluid or secretion and these secretions are being called as neurotransmitters for example acetylcholine norepinephrine and noradrenaline gaba and amino acids and so many these neurotransmitters are these these neurotransmitters this helps to transmit this help to transmit the the reflex or information from one neuron to another and these points at which this is being transmitted this is being called as synapses and these synapses are are different types for example the synapse may be from the exon of one cell exon of one cell to the dendrite of another cell which is called as exo dendritic from the exons to exons exo exotic from the exons to the cell body which is called as exo somatic so on these are the different types of synapses now the neurons are being classified according to the shape for example according to the shape the neurons are being classified into unipolar unipolar neurons are those neurons in which there is a cell body with one process for example the mesencephalic nucleus of the four the, the fifth nerve and number 2 the bipolar bipolar neurons are those neurons in which there is cell body with two processes one this and one this exon that don't right for example you can see the bipolar cells of the retina and then the multipolar multipolar neurons are those neurons in which multipolar neurons are those neurons in which there is cell body with one exons and many dendrites these are called as multipolar neurons for example the neurons in the cerebrum the neurons of the cerebrum they are called as multipolar neurons then they are there is another type which is called as pseudo unipolar pseudo unipolar are those neurons in which there is cell body from each one process originate and then then process divides into two and it seems to be having two processes that's why it is unipolar but pseudo it is pseudo unipolar for example the spinal ganglion or dorsal root ganglion then the ganglion may also be classified according to the length of its axons and according to length of axon it is being called as golgi type 1 and golgi type 2 in it depends upon the length. if the axon is very long then it is being called as golgi type 1 for example the cerebral ganglion ganglion the the neuron present in the cerebral cerebrum and golgi type 2 in which the axons are short and these are called then called as golgi type 2 then the third type is amacrine 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 are those neurons in which is having only dendrites having no axons this is easy you can understand from its name 
and then the neurons can also be classified according to its shape and that is for example star shape tail shape or for example fusiform fusiform shape etc and that is the classification of neurons according to its shape i think this is sufficient about the neurons and you would have understood it thank you very much